Welcome everyone back to my channel. Another project, another day. Here we go. Click that subscribe. Hit the like at the end of the video if you like the video. I'd really appreciate that. Still a new YouTuber. So today, what I'm about to finish is this section of the backyard with this beautiful lawn that you see right here that I am absolutely amazed by how well it turned out. I need to finish it right here where I'm standing. I am going to make a three foot section uh, walkway. I'm going to dig down six inches, three feet wide and 23 feet long. The biggest part of today's job is clearly going to be the digging. 23 feet, six inches down. So uh, that's what I'll be starting at. But first I need to run to the store. I need to get some pea stone gravel and some plastic uh, for an underneath so we don't have any weeds coming up through the uh, pea stone. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm excited for it. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Love the pea stone gravel. That's going to look amazing in that walkway. Now to get this unloaded. I wish that gateway was much bigger. But first, my cafe. The setup that I've got, got a stake three foot apart here, three feet apart here, and another three feet apart over there. So the next step is to tie the string, make a perfect rectangle, I guess you could call it, and uh, it'll make the guessing no guessing. What's up, my fellow hens? We need to have a conversation. Why we only got three eggs today? There's five of you. Got to earn your keep. So I'm just cutting a line here, as you can see, down through. Not laying bricks, so it don't got them perfect. Wow, we've got some rock. I'll need a pickaxe for that. Wow, I gotta say, I really wish when this was all, before the grass come in and when it was all mud, I really wish that I would have gotten this dug up to the size that I need because realistically this here at least half of this little walkway has gotten for the past three weeks has gotten stepped on hundreds of times and it's really packed down hard. Oh well, learn as you go. I think I need to go a little lighter on the dirt on my shovel because that takes a lot out of you. That takes a lot out of me to throw it that far. Hope there's no hens on the other side of that fence. Think ahead guys, think ahead. Don't make my mistake. Wow. Well, the hens have come to, it looks like help out, but not really helping out. They just like the fresh dirt because fresh dirt means worms. And if you've seen in my last videos, when the shovel comes out, the hens come out. And on that note, I'll be getting a freezy, freezy break. My favorite. So here today we have about 20 degrees, but honestly, it really feels like it's only like 15 degrees. It's very overcast today. We're getting rain tonight. I am happy about that. Cause boy, 
This digging like was done here underneath the pergola is for the dogs, the birds, it's for all of them. Anyway, when I look over there though, I'm pretty excited with that. Everything's pretty much level here. Just took out some of the big rocks. Soon ready for the pea stone gravel. Wow. It's gonna lay the plastic down just to keep the weeds from coming through. So, time for the plastic. All right, so this is the plastic that I'm using. So this should work pretty good. Cut it. Always go a little more longer than you think you need. I just want to make sure that all the area is covered. And there's no real need to trim it to be exact because the rock is easily going to cover all of this. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Just got sprayed with the sprinkler. Look at just put some sprinkler here and have an alligator slide. It's a fun idea. Thought this was the right way to open the trailer. I think I caught the edge. Ugh. There we go. Just like that, folks. So this amount of pea stone that I have here is a half of a cubic yard. So I'm not sure at this point, but it's pretty close. It might do the trick. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a little more. And actually, when we were there, they're running a little short on pea stone. Fingers crossed, gonna have to call, make sure they still have some. All right, guys, so as you can see right now, this is the last bit right here, but it looks really good. I just hope it settles nice. I haven't used the pea stone before, but we've got rain coming just in time and on the way to the gravel pit i thought maybe you go to the other the other gravel pit because they didn't have a whole lot left when we were there but i thought about it if you're doing this kind of work don't switch companies because it might not be the exact same that would have been horrible to get back here today and realize the pea stone from the company that i had got the first load might be different so there's a tip for you all right so as you can see after walking on this pea stone, guys, it was literally a workout squishing down in the gravel and such. So I just went to Kent Building Supplies and picked up the same patio stones as you see under the pergola and the walkway here. So needed stones, too much of a issue to walk over this pea stone. So I'm gonna line them all up and uh, I've set a few in the ground over here, but I'm gonna lay the rest out and just see which pattern how far apart they need to go. What do you think of this? I've done a dry fit here and I've got the rope out again. So it's good and straight. So now what I need to do is put these bricks into the ground just about halfway just so they stay where i put them yeah and i really like it looking at it even from this angle it matches the pergola the walkways everything i just think this was a good choice ideally i was thinking of some kind of just uh random circular rocks or some kind of flat stones but this looks great i think i like it yes wow before you decide to go with just straight pea stone, take it from me, 
just walking on this stuff <laughs> is a bit of a workout. You feel like you're sinking into quicksand every now and again, so I like it. Using this piece of wood for my spacer here. So I can know exactly where my next brick is going to go. And it's right here. Line it up with my rope. Perfectly even there. And then I'm going to lift this over. Get rid of the rock. I need to put it down a good bit so it's in the ground pretty good. Then I have a rubber mallet. Perfect there. There we go. And then just bit surround my stone with these rocks. By the looks of it, I'm going to have to get rid of some of these rocks, I do believe, or just shimmy them around. There, so I just want to leave just a pinch of the uh, stone above the ground. So that's pretty good. I like it. Oh, they're in good now. No movement. Nice. First of all, check out my plants. These are beautiful. They're called Dapping Willow. I believe. Dapping Willow. Beautiful. And if you've never seen them, you have to keep them trimmed or they get ginormous. I mean, just down the road here we have one. It's the size of the pergola. I kid you not. So I'm going to keep these trimmed. They're going to go right over here. So I'm going to put one here. The other one right here and the other one is going to go about here. So I'm excited for that. They're going in the ground. Another thing I'd like to mention is this walkway here. I didn't plan it really well because I was so hoping the walkway was going to be the pea stone and after struggling walking on the pea stone I wish that I just put grade A gravel down and just laid down the stones after that. But anyway, here we go. I really do like it a lot though. And thanks for watching. Click subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.